What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Shane Black's new film, The Predator. This is a continuation of the whole Predator series that we've seen and my journey to The Predator finally ends here. Talking about this brand new one. Now I was really excited about this film. One, you got Shane Black on board. I love the nice guys. Love, love, love Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I really enjoy Iron Man 3. But this is what I'm saying. He got signed on this film. I was pumped. I'm a huge Predator fan. The original Predator is one of my favorite action films of all time. So you could say I was a little hyped about this movie. And this film delivers in some parts and doesn't deliver in other parts, which we'll get to. To be honest, I'm very much in the middle of the road for this film. I don't think it's the best film, and I don't think it's the worst film. There's certainly a lot of issues with this movie that I will dive into. What is the story of this brand new Predator? Turns out Boyd Holbrook plays a sniper in this little elite group, and as he's on a mission, a Predator ship crashes, he gets entwined with this Predator. Turns out this Predator is running away from a bigger Predator, and stuff ensues within a suburban neighborhood. His family gets tied into this. He meets a brand new ragtag group of crazy people. They call themselves the Loonies. And Olivia Munn's a scientist. There really is no story for this movie. And that's what I'm saying. Because it's, it's all over the place in that part. Which is one of my big cons for this movie. But again, going to things that I loved about this movie. Before I totally kind of get to the things I didn't like. I love the character dynamics between all these characters. There's a motel scene in here that I was laughing and smiling ear to ear. And I was pretty much smiling throughout the whole entire film until really the third act. But everything from the beginning to the middle, I was really on board with the character dynamics, their dynamics going back and forth. And just Keegan-Michael Key's funny. He's great. Thomas Jane steals a lot of the great scenes in here. And you gotta go to Boyd Holbrook. He was great in Logan, and he's fantastic in here. He gives a good, solid performance. Nothing, like, special, but it shows me that this guy can be a leading man. It was nice to see that. And even Olivia Munn got some spunk to her, and I liked her charming self in here. She did do more than what I think she initially does in the last few roles she's been in, but I liked her. Plus, I'd be dishonored not to talk about Sterling K. Brown. He was great in here as well. Can the guy be, like, in every single thing that comes out? And Jacob Tremblay's in here, the kid from Room, and he is also pretty good in here. I thought he was gonna get a bit annoying but he doesn't there's some story developments with his character that i thought were didn't work 100 percent for me but at the same time i thought it was pretty intriguing on how they explained it with these characters you don't seem to just care about them but you actually enjoy being around them you know it's this is the pretty much the closest thing that will come to the original predator it, this film feels like a 1980s film it feels that in so many ways the second the film opens to the second the film ends it feels like something that would have came out in the 80s and in a sense even though we've had sequels to the original Predator, this feels like the most direct one. Some of the callbacks in this film kind of directing to the first one, and even the score being heavily influenced by the very first one. Some elements in there that I really did enjoy with that. Man, oh man, the action in here is brutal. It's gruesome and gory, and it's awesome. Like, I loved all the action sequences in here. Just the way that the Predators move around, this big elite Predator that we get to see now is awesome you see him shanking people you see him doing all types of things blowing up people just he is a ruthless killer and seeing both these types of predators fight and the different kind of dynamics that these characters have the action sequences were very much filmed great and that is one of my big things it's entertaining popcorn fun as much fun as i can have with this film because i did certainly enjoy myself watching this movie i found myself going wait how'd that happen wait what happened there wait that person just died and i felt myself Getting a little bit confused, and I can be getting confused during an action film, I should be able to just enjoy the film for what it is. And I was. I was entertained. But I have my issues with this because the editing is a little bit choppy, which also hurts the story. There's a whole part, kind of 35-45% into the movie, that feels like it's missing a whole layer of the story development. Where it just jumps and you're like, oh, we're there. Wait, how'd they get that? Or where'd they get that from? And how do they know this? And there's a couple moments where it's like that, where it feels like it just got choppy. And it's like, okay, we skipped ahead. It never felt like it was choppy in how it looked, but it always felt like it was through the pacing, not feeling seamless. It was never really a dull moment. It was just caught you off guard. This is one of the things that really bugged me in this movie. And I sat there and I was sitting there and it started bugging me consistently. And yes, I get it. This is a film you turn off your brain, you watch. And my brain was turned off for a majority of this movie. I was having fun with it. But in a sense, you know, you look at Fast and Furious or you look at other types of action films like that where people tell you, oh, turn off your brain, sit down, watch the film, you're going to enjoy it. I can do that. 
But when the story doesn't feel seamless, that's when I start to get a little bit bugged. Fast and Furious, seamless. Total way through, yeah, you have to turn off your brain for some of the stupid things that happens, but you still get it. There's still a seamless story. Same with the Meg that came out earlier this year. Dumb, dumb, dumb stuff in there, but seamless throughout. There's never something that confuses you. You know what's going on. That's where the Predator kind of missed the mark for me. Even though this film is very much feeling like a 1980s film, and I love the feel of that, it's 2018. I kind of want a little bit more in today's era type of feel. Trying to mix some stuff in from the 80s, but at the same time, you kind of want that feel. But yeah, there's some awesome banter in here. It's Shane Black's writing. The film feels like a Shane Black film. It's awesome in that category. You laugh, you smile, you have some great moments with the action, kicking ass with the Predator, and I wanted to see more Predator. I was kind of disappointed we didn't get more of them. There was some great character dynamics between all the characters, and I did really enjoy each and every one of them. There wasn't one that ever bugged me and annoyed me. Each one kind of brought their own little spaz or spunk to their character and I like what each character did. There's one more thing that did really bug me about this film which is the ending and I'm not going to spoil what it is because that's not fair to you guys. You guys will just have to check out the film for yourself and tell me what you guys think about it. I just felt like the ending was very sh shoot in in a sense to yeah we're setting up a sequel. I absolutely hate when films just push it right in your face like hey we have sequel plans right here. I don't exactly know how I feel about it but it just felt really abrupt in how they introduced it, and I felt like it would have been better to introduce it in just a whole new film, and I just end this film on a better note. With all that said, I'm going to give The Predator a C. Certainly in the middle on this film, I really loved some parts, I really didn't dislike some parts. Not a bad film, I'll end up probably buying it when it's a little bit cheaper, just so I have the whole collection. But tell me guys, what are your guys' thoughts on The Predator? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you a fan of this series? Tell me what you guys' thoughts are down below in the comments. Of course guys, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, and also check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But of course, until next time, stay classy.